Okay, so it's Sunday morning, you wake up, it's like seven-ish in the morning and you start to think to yourself, do I really want to go to church? Does this ever happen to you? Do you ever go through the stuff in the morning and you think, I kind of already know what's gonna happen, why should I even go? Hey guys, it's Clint Pascal, lead pastor of The Waters Church, and this is our monthly communication with you as pastors, and today I just wanna focus in on the concept of going to church at all. So everything I just described has like a consumerism mindset. What am I gonna get out of it, and is it worth what I have to pay? So what you'll pay the most in on a Sunday morning is your time. Time is super precious. Am I gonna get out what I put in? Am I gonna get out a product that's worthy enough that's a consumerism mindset. Is that a way a Christian should think about going to church? But what does the Bible say about going to church? And should we pay more attention to God's word to instruct us than we should what's happening around us culturally? Maybe get out a pencil and a piece of paper and write down some of these Bible verses that I'm gonna run through. Hebrews chapter 10, verses 24 and 25 has a lot to say about us getting together, stirring one another up in goodness, encouraging one another, and making a habit of assembling. It actually says it in the negative, don't give up on assembling as some people have made the habit of doing. That gets my attention because that was the habit that we were in in 2020, not assembling. And the Bible actually gives a clear warning, be careful about making a habit of not getting together. That's Hebrews chapter 10, verse 24 and 25. Psalm 150 talks about praising God in his sanctuary together with all kinds of stuff. Musical instruments, loud singing, dancing, stuff that you do when you're together. Pretty hard to do when you're watching on a screen. Colossians chapter three talks about the importance of letting God's word dwell in you and paying attention to it as it is taught and even sung about together. Ephesians four talks about the body of Christ all being together, working together, people being together, like a human body has different parts all together. My body is all in one place right now. My eyeballs and my mouth and my ear and my hair and my shoulders and my kneecaps all together in one place. The Bible uses that as a clear analogy of the importance of us getting together and being together. And Psalm 22 talks about how God makes his home on the praises of his people. I think the Bible gives clear instruction to why on a Sunday morning at 7 a.m. when I wake up and I think, ah, oh, should I even do all this? I shouldn't be thinking about a consumerism mindset. What are they gonna give me? What am I gonna get out of it? Is it worth my time? That's like a perspective that's all about me. I don't think this should be about me. I don't think this should be about us. I think we keep the focus on God. And instead of consuming and saying, is it worth my time? I think church is something where I say, no, this is about my love for God and my desire to worship Him. And not just to do that by myself and not just with my family unit, but together with all of the family units that make up my church, where we are together loyal to the cause that our church is about, making Jesus more and more famous. So here you have your basic week. You got Sunday through Saturday, and on almost every single calendar, Sunday is the very first day of the week. Now, doesn't this sort of feel like the idea of giving God from your firsts? Well, when I look at all the stuff I gotta do all week long, so many different tasks, and I think about the life in suburbia. How many distractions are there? How many different things that we have to do? We look at all the stuff we have to do, and we look at this Sunday and we think, ah, oh, this could just be my day. Well, what might it do to the rest of my week when I say, God, I'm gonna give you the morning of the very first day. You know what happens when we do this with our life? First of all, by the way, it doesn't take up your whole Sunday. There's still an amazing opportunity for naps, and the Sunday afternoon nap is pretty sweet. This moment that you dedicated to God because of your love for Him and your worship of Him affects everything else. It's almost like this thing that you give redeems the rest of the week. Now, I'm not saying there's not exceptions and you have to be at church every Sunday morning. That's not what this is about. Biblically important habit for us to gather all families together in the church and be together. I know that it's been hard and there's a lot stacked against us, especially everything that we're dealing with, but the Bible remains true. We are at our best as a church when we are doing this thing together. It may be a new perspective on church, not so much about what am I gonna get, but God, you are worth the morning of the very first day of my week and I'm going to build that into a habit not only for me but for my family. You are worth that kind of time. Hey, Psalm 122, I was glad to be in the house of the Lord for our church. It's at the Palacio Maria and I hope to see you this coming Sunday morning. Service starts at 10 a.m. Show up a little bit earlier. We'll be able to fist bump and hang out. I love you guys. Between now and the next time we see each other, keep on making Jesus famous.